Hi there, it's Sandu and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know that's a mess. Don't come for me in the comment section. So, yes, the title is true. I did test for COVID-19. It is today. It is October 9th. And I tested back in July. So, I've gone back to school. My quarantine days are over. You already know. So, I don't know how long this video is going to be. This video may be 10 minutes long. This video may be an hour long because I'll just be ranting and ranting, ranting, you know? And yes, I'm wearing the same hoodie as I wore in my last video because it is comfortable. So yeah, um, what are my symptoms? My sym uh, the only symptom I had was a high fever. Yeah, yeah, that's the only symptom I have. I had because I had like thirty nine degrees Celsius, and I believe you you're only supposed to go up to like thirty seven. So you already know. So yeah, um, let me take my shoes off. Okay, yeah, because I'm wearing tackies. Um, what else? What else? Oh, um. Another reason why I had to go to test is because besides also having the high fever, I was in close contact with someone with the test. I'm okay. So I was also saying um, I was in close contact with someone who tested positive. Okay, I know you guys are going to ask me for the details in the comments. Someone in my, in my house, in my home, the one that I live in now, the one I'm filming this video in, tested positive and it'll be of the North South Africa and of common sense to go test because I did not want to just stay here not knowing whether I was positive or not. So then we went to test. <clears throat> I did not do the nose swab. I did the mouth swab. Very grateful that I did the mouth swab. So basically what she did is she took a long swab thing immediately. Obviously she took a swab because, okay. And then she went all the way down like here. Ooh, sorry. Okay, she went all the way down here and then she basically like, what? She wiggled it in. And you know how tight it is here and wiggling it. So you might just imagine doing it here and you have to do it on both. Or, no. So I just did the, the mouth swab and I went here. She wiggled it. I literally coughed on the lady's face. She went like this, she went like this. And I went like, ah! And I'm like, obviously like in the moment I wasn't acting it out like I am now. But... I literally coughed in her face and I felt so bad because and then after I found out that I was positive I felt so bad because like literally maybe she's negative and now someone who says a positive coughs in your face literally even though she has been a face shield and a mask and everything but like ah I she had glasses so literally she had all the protection she needed and she was wearing those you know they were in surgery yeah, those like and those like doctor aprons. Not like the shave aprons, like the doctor aprons. Sorry about that noise. So yeah. When did you next day tested positive? Um wasn't shocked because obviously I knew that my temperature was high and that was uh, that was a symptom and obviously um what else? Oh and obviously I was in close contact with someone, went tested so so I went to test on Monday and then to found out on Friday on that on Tuesday morning my dad told me. So um and then we started putting in the like the regulations basically around the house that I was gonna stay in this room and the only time I could come out if I wanted to go to the toilet and or if I wanted to go have to like what? To dish up food because I was gonna eat breakfast, lunch damn i was gonna eat breakfast lunch and dinner in this room because it would make not make sense because there's some people in this house that tested negative and it would just be stupid for me as a positive person who tested positive to be eating without a mask obviously because how are you gonna eat with the mask on um in like the living room you know so yeah you know it like and for me at first it was weird I wish I filmed this, but obviously then I hadn't saw my YouTube channel and I tried to film it and it was just not happening it because I was not in the right state of mind. So, um, yeah. So, okay, so, um, well, you could come out. Then I took all these vitamins, vitamin D. Oh, I did go outside just for vitamin D because, like, sun, coronavirus doesn't like sun, kill, you know. And also, 
also I was one of the first in my in like my family to taste positive. So we didn't I'm not gonna say we didn't take it seriously, obviously we knew that we are in a global pandemic and you know we have to take precautions and put our masks, social distance, all that stuff. But we knew that now it was real as soon as the people who tasted positive tasted positive. I'm not going to name names because that is not my right. I, oh, the only right I have is that I can say what I want to say to the public, as in the internet, um, about me tasting positive. Oh, my mom just got back. Oh, cool! She got back from herself. I didn't even see her. I walked around today. Good enough. Okay, so, um, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, I took my vitamins every day, all of that. Then, what? Let me tell you something. If you taste positive, Let's say you haven't seen tell me otherwise because that was the longest 14 days. Just imagine wearing a mask, a whole mask in your own home. No watching TV. I don't really watch TV because I watch YouTube and I watch yeah, all that Netflix and all that stuff. But you can't interact with anyone else for 14 days straight. Do you understand? So, um, that is the end of the video. I know it was quite a short one. So, if you do have any more questions, I will be sure to like be sure to comment in down below because I mean, maybe you guys haven't tasted positive yet, so you don't know the experience of how it is like. I just want to say hi to my mom real quick. So, I was saying that, um, if you have any more questions, make sure you put them in the comment section down below and also share the video because not a lot of people are 11 years old and taste positive for coronavirus. Yeah, I'm special. No, I'm not special because coronavirus can kill you, okay? So, just because I didn't die from coronavirus does not mean that it, it's not a deadly disease and you mustn't take it seriously. So, wear your mask, sanitize your hands, social distance, like the video, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! But TikTok of the day. Hi, guys. So, da da da, -da. Yes, I did that. And you do two per check. I was employee, and I was going to get employee a month, and it's on beauty. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye.